So welcome to a, just a bit of a fun video I think. A subscriber got in touch with me a couple of weeks ago now and pointed me in the direction of a development called a board known as the ReSpeaker Core V2. And that is a development board and it features the Rockchip 3229. And now if you're aware of that processor, it was somewhat of a very low end budget processor that came out I think towards the end of 2014 and although Rockchip kept up with the Android development for it, I mean I think it's got Oreo now for it I believe, it was very very poor and it kind of found its way into the cheaper end of the TV box market, very cheaper end even compared to like the likes of the f 5 w that's so much better than a Rockchip 3229 but anyway over the years, we've um, looked at a lot of different TV boxes with the 3229, most of them being pretty, pretty poor to be fair. I've got one here, which is the V88 by a company called Shizen, and this again wasn't anything spectacular, but it was alright, you know, it ran Android okay, and it was a relatively cheap box, I think I got this for about $19, something like that, I've seen these as go as low as... $16 sometimes including shipping so you can kind of see that they were incredibly cheap and I've always said one thing though about these cheap really cheap TV boxes is that I think that they would be very much suitable for something like Libra Alec or Open Alec. Unfortunately I don't think a developer anywhere in the world has really shown any interest in this these types of TV boxes we've had the MXQ ASA05 for example but as far as the 3229 is concerned, not a lot of love really for these boxes. However, the ReSpeaker Core V2 is a development board and it features the Rockchip 3229 and they've released Linux for it and here we are. Linux is now running on this TV box. Can you believe it? I'm pretty surprised to be honest with you. I never really thought that I would ever see anything amazing for the 3229. Of course, this is Linux, a full Linux operating system running on this painfully slow 3229 so you can't expect it to do anything snappy or anything really too spectacular but it just goes to show that it will run it and it runs it you know as well as say the MXQ S805 for example most um, processors of this type can't run Linux very well but it can do it, it does it so what does that open the um, door to? What else can we do with this? Well, I'm not entirely sure. I think you guys at home can come up with something creative to get use out of this Linux for these boxes. However, one thing you've got to bear in mind is that it won't run on every single RK3229 box. I mean, this is just potluck that it runs on this one. This is about four years old as well, this box, and uh, it just so happens to run, it, run on it. Remember, this is built for a product called a ReSpeaker Core V2, not a generic Shizen V88. But it just goes to show how similar these pieces of hardware are. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below if you wanna give this a try. Again, it's just a bit of fun. There's something for you guys to try at home if you've got one of these boxes, maybe. Um, yeah, so we give it a try. Um, let me know in the comment section below if it boots and let me know if it um if you can get any use out of it so big thanks to the subscriber who let me know about this um i would have known about this otherwise so thank you to you for doing that for me anyway until next time um yeah have a good one